Today's video is about cleaning your dirty makeup brushes and in this video I'm going to be using some really cheap options so you don't have to spend a lot of money to do this. It'll only require two ingredients or two products. The first thing you will need is a regular dish soap. It doesn't have to be anything particular. If you'd like, you can use the kinds that have things in it to make your hands soft because that will help condition your brushes as well. The next thing you will need is olive oil. This is something you can find at your grocery store or the dollar store, really anywhere. It's pretty cheap. This is going to help condition your brushes so that they stay soft. You're also going to want some kind of plate that isn't completely flat so the liquids don't fall off the sides. To clean your brushes, you're going to want to use equal parts dish soap and olive oil. If you are looking to make your brushes super soft, you could also opt to use baby soap instead of dish soap. And if you don't have baby soap, you could just use a little extra olive oil. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pour a little bit of dish soap. Next, you're going to want to pour about the same amount of olive oil. As you can see here, it doesn't look very pretty. <laughs> how much you use depends on how many brushes you plan to clean and how dirty they are. You'll likely have to redo this step a few times because your soap will get pretty dirty. Once you have your mixture in your plate, you want to take one of your dirty brushes. The first brush I'm going to take is my Real Techniques buffing brush. This is what I use for bronzer and powder. So this gets really caked up with face makeup. As you can see, it's pretty fluffy and round. I'm going to use this one first because this will help to mix all of the soap and the olive oil together for the first time. First, you're going to want to take your brush and swirl in the plate between the dish soap and the olive oil. You want to make sure you get a good amount of each in the bristles. And really you just want to swish this around for as long as you think necessary to get all of the makeup out. You want to make sure you get the sides and up by the barrel because a lot of your makeup gets stuck up there. As you can see, the brush is really soapy and gooey. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your soapy brush to the sink and you're going to want to swish this around on the palm of your hand or your fingertips and make sure to get all the soap and olive oil out under the running water. You'll probably want to use warm water because hot water is going to be a little too harsh on your brush. cleaned your brush you want to make sure that you wring out the bristles gently to get all the excess water out and when you're done with that you want to form it to the shape that you want it to dry so I pulled my bristles down like this and then when I am done doing that I take it on the towel I have here you just kind of want to dab it on your towel to get all that excess water out you want to lay it down on the towel so that it has time to air dry. Ideally, you want to store your makeup brushes upside down so that the water doesn't get into the barrel of the brush and ruin the quality of your brush. However, if you don't find this to be a problem when you wash your brushes, you can also just lay them down sideways. Typically, I will leave my brushes to dry overnight. Usually, I do this when I have already done my makeup for the day so that I won't need my brushes until later. So make sure that you've done your makeup already if you plan on doing your makeup that day. 
The rest of the process is basically just repeating that step over and over again. So just to show you one more time, I'm going to take a smaller eye brush. This time around, I'm going to take my Morphe eye brush. This is the Morphe E18. This one is just a very tiny eye brush. And I swirl it, just make sure you swirl it around. You get some of the soap and the olive oil. The olive oil isn't really to clean your brush. It's like the dish soap is your shampoo and the olive oil is the conditioner. Now that you have your soapy eye brush, do the same thing and take it to the sink and rinse it out. Now you can see my Morphe E18 brush clean and you can see how the bristles are back to their normal white color and are no longer dirtied by eyeshadow. You also want to make sure when you're cleaning your brushes that when you go to dry them after rinsing that you make sure to get the entire handle of your brush dry as well as the barrel because if the water seeps into the handle of your brush it can ruin the wood or the plastic that's holding the bristles and this will in turn destroy your makeup brushes. Here I have my Real Techniques contour brush. I use this typically with bronzer and as you can see this soap is very gross. It's very brown from all that bronzer coming out of there. You can see at the bottom, that's the color of the olive oil. This is the color of all that bronzer coming out of my brush. So you can see that this technique really gets all that gunk out of there and it's gonna make your brushes super clean. This is the after of my eyebrow brush. As you can see, it's very clean. This is how my brushes look after cleaning them. You can see that the bristles of the brushes are completely clean now. Some of these Morphe eye brushes here used to have a lot of like red and brown colors. So they were very noticeable on the brushes and now they're back to their normal color. My brushes haven't been this clean in quite a long time, so this was very long overdue. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and find it helpful. Alright you guys, that is it for my makeup brush cleaning routine. I know that there are several different ways that you can clean your makeup brushes. I just found that this one is the easiest and the cheapest. This one just uses some items that are easily found in the home on a day-to-day -day basis. So I hope you guys found it helpful. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. It will be really helpful. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And until my next video, I will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.